This will be the most important video you will see today. Please remember this day, August 24, 2023. Japan has announced the discharge of water containing nuclear contaminants into the Pacific, which could have significant implications. Now, let me explain why. First, we need to understand two concepts. Here is the difference between nuclear wastewater and nuclear contaminated water. The water being discharged by Japan is nuclear polluted water, containing a significant amount of high concentration radioactive substances. Despite claims of dilution, the reliability of its testing methods is still under scrutiny. And there has no compelling reason for the rest of the world to bear the consequences along with them. The following presentation is divided into nine sections, and I'm going to use Chernobyl as a reference to provide context for the events in Fukushima. Chernobyl and Fukushima, both disaster zones of level 7 nuclear accidents. In Chernobyl, explosions rocket a reactor, blowing off the lip and exposing the core. Heat and radiation still burn today, requiring an iron sarcophagus to contain the radioactivity. Picture it as an unfinished nuclear explosion, not an iconic mushroom cloud. Surprisingly, nuclear power plants mishaps might be riskier than bomb blasts. Explosions from bombs occur once with limited radiation release. Plant accidents, so torch coal fuel, emitting radiation until it's burnt out. Fukushima's tale started with a tsunami and earthquake. No detonation. Yet reactor damage and coal leakage mean ongoing heat and radiation. Mystery shrouds detail due to temple secrecy. Unlike Chernobyl's negligence, Fukushima's response lagged, with rescuers giving it their all. While Fukushima has fewer deaths, it revealed our disaster response prioritizing survival over decisiveness, blame sweating, and a dash of self-interest. Swift action might have cost more lives, but prevented the mess we are in now. Fukushima is located by the coast and has a continuous supply of seawater and groundwater that can be powered into the reactors to cool them down. This prevents reactor explosion or nuclear detonations. However, all the highly radioactive materials naturally dissolve in water, giving rise to nuclear contaminated water. This is fundamentally different from the cooling water released during the normal operation of a nuclear power plant. The coolant that directly interacts with nuclear fuels, rocks, and reactor cores during plant operation needs to be solidified and buried deep, similar to nuclear waste. What's released is condensed water generated through secondary and multiple heat exchange after powering the turbine for electricity generation. In simple terms, the contaminated water in Fukushima is highly radioactive water used to cool down the reactors. The normal water released from the nuclear power plant is cooling water that passes through multiple heat exchanges after the reactor generated heat without direct physical contact with the fuel rods and it undergoes multiple radiation isolations. The radiation levels, the type of radioactive substances contained, and their respective hazards between the two are vastly different. Discussing them together is entirely foolish, misleading, and possibly driven by ulterior motives. Fukushima introduced the ALPS system, claiming it can be filled highly radioactive and contaminated water into standard release water. This filtration system has operated efficiently for over 30 years, removing over 60 types of highly radioactive elements to create safe water. 
from a standpoint of common sense, it's hard to believe in this system. Japan's technology isn't supernatural. The ocean discharge option is primarily a cost-saving measure. There are numerous alternative plans for safety and reliability, with cost differences vary by hundredfold. If the chosen solution is the lowest cost ocean discharge, then it's not driven by prioritizing safety and security. The two major concerns of Fukushima's water discharge are as follows: releasing highly radioactive contaminated water into the ocean for such an extended period of time, around thirty years or even longer, raises questions about its impact on humanity. This is essentially a massive biomedical experiment. Conducted on the global population and marine environment, with irreversible consequences, it's possible that in five to ten years, science might show minimal effects. But what if there's a catastrophic outcome, and it significantly lowers the standard for nuclear waste disposal? If Fukushima can discharge water in this manner. Why would other nuclear power plants go through the trouble, effort, and expense of properly handling nuclear waste? Instead, it seems that everyone will choose for the simple solution of discharging waste into rivers, lakes, and seas if Fukushima is allowed to do so. All regions of China, including Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan. As well as South Korea, has explicitly banned the import of products from Japan, and even prohibited all food and feed from certain regions of Japan. IAEA's report relies primarily on samples from Tampico, with limited independent sampling. Originally planning three precise assessments, due to time constraints. They conducted one round assessment and issued the report. South Korean reported twice, finding the contamination exceeding limits by twenty thousand times. IAEA staff admitted receiving sponsorship from Japan and disclosing preliminary report drafts. U.S. media reports suggest American experts questioned Tampco's understanding of radiation elements in storage tanks. Negative response. They also ask it about the ALPS system's capacity to handle slug. Negative response, which tends to clog the filtration. The response was to continue filtering up to three hundred times, discussing safety without understanding radiation elements feels premature. Chinese Academy of Atomic Energy researcher. Liu Senlin regretted IAEA's hasty release of a comprehensive report without consulting technical experts. The report was issued in the name of Director General Grossi. Expert opinions were merely for reference, adopted at the Secretariat's discretion. Further discussions weren't held before releasing it. Referencing Chinese experts agreeing with the report is inappropriate. The IAEA report compares data for over twenty radiation elements. Japan claims to filter over sixty types, leaving over forty unaccounted for. This doesn't mean the remaining forty types are risk-free. Standards lag behind reality. Japan hasn't fully identified the exact number, with around sixty identified by Alps Solutions. The IAEA did not support or recommend the Japanese government's decision. IAEA Director General Rafael Mariano Grossi explicitly states that the decision to discharge nuclear contaminated water into the ocean was entirely Japanese government's choice. While a 140-page report released by the IAEA indicated that the detected harmful substances 
in the nuclear contaminated water met the standards. Rumors have emerged that some members of the IAEA team faced limitations and restrictions from the Japanese side during a series of monitoring actions. Approximately 50 to 85 percent of Earth's oxygen is produced by marine plants and algae through photosynthesis. This process is crucial for maintaining oxygen levels in our atmosphere and supporting marine ecosystems. Injecting nuclear contaminated water into the ocean undeniably placed the fate of global communities on the forced gambling table. Furthermore, the Fukushima nuclear power plant's reactors have not been shut down since the accident occurred. The nuclear fuel rods continue to slowly sin with high temperatures, either penetrating the ocean or the Earth's mantle. Both scenarios will lead to nuclear radiation dispersion. The effective resolution proposed is Russia's proposal involving a hydrogen bomb in the Fukushima nuclear power plant area. As humans, we have the right and the duty to know the truth. Otherwise, the potential irreversible impact on ecosystems and species. In 10 years, the oceans of the whole world will be contaminated. All foods, vegetables, and even the purest water resource will be tainted with nuclear pollutions. Please do something. This matter concerns all of us.